Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Roger Sika Kasungura YouTube channel. A big thank you for those who are committed towards uh, supporting this channel. May God bless you abundantly. Kaka, I had told you about uh, a young lady who had passed away at Christ Marian Hospital. We helped the parent to clear some bills in the hospital. But unfortunately, the young girl lost her life. So, tulimtoa leo tukampeleka nyumbani, tukapeleka mwili nyumbani and we'll be burying her tomorrow. So, may God give strength to that family. Back to politics. Kaka, I have seen some news today. And uh, you know in Kenya, previously counter suits were not classified as an official attire. Na salimu nyote kwa majina ni Florence Geshoke, Managing Director, Engineers Land and Properties Limited. Na wakaribisha nyote kwa shirea yetu ya kuwakabidhi wateja wetu zaidi ya title deeds miatatu kati ya miradi yetu kuminatatu hapa na Kuru County. Na sihi waliwekeza nasi tungane pamoja tare kuminasita December mwaka huu pale na Kuru Athletic Club ama NAC na Kuru Town. Karibuni Engineers Land and Properties and secure your future with us. Thank you. Engineers Land and Properties Limited. Secure your future with us. So, as much as some few people used to wear it or are wearing it now, in Kenya, it's not recommended as one of the official attires maybe you can wear to, an, uh, to a serious in, a job interview. It's not. So if you wear it, it's treated casual. The person who reintroduced the counter suit in Kenya is William Ruto. After wearing Kitenge during the campaigns, he did not found his identity. Now, in the past few months in office, he has been walking around with counter suits, different colors. Yellow, black, green, what? All colors. Because he's a public figure and he's been wearing those counter suits even to official functions, even outside Kenya, he's been wearing those counter suits. So, People concluded it's his official, how do we call it? Like now, kuna kafimbo mo yali nako. We knew that was his simple. Yani alama yake ya uungozi. Now, Ruto comes in with a counter suit. A counter suit, according to him, kwa sababu, Ndiyo ni naona anavaa kila mahali recently. It is simple. Yani, ni alama yake ya uongozi. Kaunda suit. Every person loves to be unique. Hairstyle, dressing, shoe, and everything. So Ruto decided, decided to be Uhuru Kenyatta towards his retirement. Alianza kuvalia kitengi. He became unique. In his own way. So Ruto is also becoming unique in a counter suit. Because he's a public figure, some leaders in Kenya Kwanza started copy pasting. I saw Ndindi Nyoro starting to wear a counter suit. I saw Silvana Sosoro started also wearing a counter suit. And other leaders I have seen copy-pasting from the president. Your president, you know. It's not my, you, your president. Now, walianza kuselebrate kwamba akiva kaunda suit, for example, ndindi nyora akiva kaunda suit, 
na ruta akifaa kaunda suit they feel good in a photo nimevaa kama rais you know that excitement sasa sijui it's like moses wetangula hapendi mambo ya makaunda suit or else there's something i'm thinking either either ajazipenda or there's something i'm thinking mulisikia in the news mamba ni matatu slogan iliwekewa copyright na william ruto so ukitumia mamba ni matatu bila ruhusa yake unakamatwa na unalipia i hope you saw that it's not a hidden secret it's something that is in the public just like francis francis atoli ali copyright chance sana yeah so ruto pia alisema mambo matatu ukitumia bila idhini yake unakamatwa unalipa fine to my own thinking ruto has also taken over the kaunda suit market in kenya hataki mtu mwingine avae kwa sababu ameona these guys are competing with and jealous you know What wengi in Kenya kwanza started copying. Nimewapatia examples. Now William Ruto ameona hao watu wameanza kukompete na mimi. So Ruto has claimed ownership of a counter suit. That is my thinking kwa sababu as we speak Moses Wetangula has banned wearing counter suits in parliament. So ukiweka counter suit kwenda bunge unafukuzwa. It's no longer accepted in parliament. You come on any part. Kaunda suit right now. Okay, utava lakini uko nje. A member of parliament, you are not allowed to wear a kaunda suit to parliament. Meaning it has been scrubbed off from an official attire. Imetolewa kwa list. So kama unavaa, unavaa outside parliament. Va kwenda mazishi ba kwenda harusi ba kwenda chandoni na mambo mengine so ruto is left the only public or civil servant who is allowed to wear a counter suit to an official function are you get what i'm explaining very soon utasikia pia senate wamekataa now that we tangula amesema no member of parliament is allowed to wear a counter suit now going forward the only person allowed the only civil servant who is going to be allowed to wear a counter suit to an official function is only the president claiming ownership of a counter suit sasa ruta anataka in fact going forward hata wewe mwananchi ukivaa counter suit unashikwa how do you compete with your president you are not me how do you compete with you are your president I remember there's a luo mwenye aliita kwa National Dialogue Committee and he was responding to article 1 alikuwa anasema and the people may a conjunction the people may conjunction you know <laughs> now i'm also choosing in my words going forward wearing a kaunda suit is going to be criminal Why? How do you compete with your president? Hapo ndio Kenya imefika. Kama haujaona hiyo story, it's on the news. Kauna suit is no longer an official attire. Has been banned in parliament, hawezi va. Mtu mwenye atava suit peke yake ni rais wenu. Lazo gentlemen I wish you the very best in the new uh, uh, the new unfoldings new unfoldings Najua mnangoja ni comment about the house levy hiyo sizungumzi I will not comment about the house levy forget Sahau hiyo mtalipa hata kama umeona mahakama imefanya hiyo mtalipa chezani na zakayo nyinyi lazima atawata ushuru God bless you ladies and gentlemen see you in the next video Asante sana.